A study shows that Indiana students were significantly hurt by trying to stay up with classes during the pandemic. Yeah, this news comes out following the statewide iLearn testing results. Now they've revealed only 40.5% of students are proficient in English and language arts, nearly 37% proficient in math. The Indiana Department of Education study had similar findings after taking a look at the impact of this pandemic on elementary and middle school students. Now the department is encouraging schools to adopt a seven step plan to help those students recover. At least half of the nation right now is dealing with a dramatic increase in the number of COVID-19 infections and also hospitalizations. Yeah, this is a big story. In fact, in some areas of our country, the surge is reminiscent of the peak of the pandemic with hospitals stretched to their limits. There is a dangerous, in some cases, deadly trend developing across our country, fueled by the highly contagious Delta strain. COVID infections and hospitalizations are exploding right now. I don't know how we'll handle it, but we're going to do everything we can to try to handle that volume of patients. With doctors warning, this may be just the beginning. The Delta variant is going to move its way through the country over the course of August and September, maybe into October. Unfortunately, the worst is yet to come. According to the CDC, the most serious cases and a majority of new COVID deaths are among unvaccinated patients. The agency pointing out the pace of Americans getting fully vaccinated has dropped by more than 80% since April. Children are especially vulnerable to the Delta variant because at this point, only about a third of the 25 million kids eligible for a shot have been fully vaccinated. As we know that a number of the both hospitalizations and the deaths we're seeing are preventable. The rise in cases leaving facilities in a number of hot spots short on beds and staff. It is more likely to make you sick than other strains. And so, yes, we have seen that and Delta is just more rapid because it's more efficient at transmitting. A fast pace that in some hospitals could by the end of this month set a dubious record for the number of COVID patients since the start of this pandemic. And our numbers are going up as well. In fact, here in Indiana, we saw another 612 Hoosiers test positive for COVID with six deaths reported today. But we also saw another 4,700 Hoosiers become fully, fully vaccinated. And you've got a chance to get vaccinated if you're downtown tomorrow. The Marion County Public Health Department is going to offer vaccine at a pop-up clinic on the north side of Monument Circle. That's from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Thursday.